So we are down at this water body today, which unfortunately has been invaded by the killer shrimp that I have here in my hand. It's been introduced from overseas, is now causing a devastating impact um, in water bodies in Great Britain. And this is just one of these invasive non-native species. So this particular species has come in and it's very aggressive. It uh, kills other insects, shrimp, and also preys on fish eggs and small fry where they're available and completely changes the environment, uh, causing a detrimental impact on fish stocks and decreasing uh, water quality and other impacts as well. Okay, so these shrimps you can see next to the 20p piece can be incredibly hard to spot and can get into the, the rims and uh, the undersoles of your boots. So these are particular areas to pay attention to after you've been fishing just to check for shrimp and small pieces of plant and other material that might get entangled by accident in your nets. So after you've been fishing, there are just three very simple measures that you can undertake to try and minimise the risk of invasive species being spread to another water body. So the first one is just doing a, a really quick visual check of your nets and of your boots and your waders and just removing any visual plant material um, that you come across, any animals, paying particular attention to the rims of your nets up against the, the kind of areas here, the line for material, uh, the bottom of your boots and also the rims uh, as well. So that's the areas to pay particular attention to. So after you've checked your equipment, the next thing you should do is make sure to clean it. So here we've got a wash down facility, so I'm just making sure to spray it down paying particular attention to the rim of the net again and this should dislodge any animals or plant material that you overlooked or couldn't quite reach during your visual check. As well as your nets, make sure to wash down your boots and pay particular attention to the bottoms and the rims here. Uh, here we have a wash down facility, but in some locations you might be where they're remote, you might not have access to one. So what you can do, you can do this cleaning element in your own home, just get some hot water from your tap and just wash it down outside and then move on to the final stage. And the third and final step is to make sure that you dry your equipment. So ideally just leave it out on the lawn, some people choose to uh, hang it out to dry, whichever you prefer, just make sure that you leave it out just because there's a small chance even though you've cleaned and you've checked your equipment that some of the small pieces of plant, animal or diseases could still survive. So just by having this final step you'll really ensure that no invasive species survive and to be moved elsewhere.